Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.26 from Sadiku book. So the question is express the signals in figure 7.100 form in terms of singularity function. So we are given four signals A, B, C, and D and we are asked to write them in terms of singularity function. Okay, let's start from these signals. Let's start from A here. So we know that B40 is equal to minus 1. The value of the signal is 0. But then after T is minus 1, the value is 0. So we know this is a unit function, but shifted on to the left, right? So first term that we need to write is V1T is equal to U. And because that is shifted to the right, we will have T plus 1. Okay, and then from here, the value change from 1 to minus 1. So we need to subtract 2 from it. But then that happens at t is equal to 0. So minus 2 ut here. Okay, now let's see this. This stay minus 1 until it changes from minus 1 to 1. So we need to add plus 1 here, so I don't write it, u, and then the value is changed when t is equals to 1, so I will have t minus 1, and that is the first answer for problem A, I think that is quite easy enough, okay, now let's see the question B, so this is the function here, we know that B40 is equal to 2, the value is 0, and it changes to 2 when T is equal to 0. So, the first thing that we need to write is UT, but the time is shifted to the right about 2 time unit. So, I will have T minus 2. Okay, but then if we write it like this, the value of the signals will be stays horizontal like this but we need to be this we need it to be this line here with the slope of minus one so the slope will be start from zero and the slope will be becomes minus one so i will have to subtract it with some rem function but the rem function start at t is equal to two so i will have t minus two but then that will be changed again when t is equal to 4 and the slope is changed from minus 1 to 0. So I need to add 1 to it. So I will have r t minus 4. And this is the answer for question B. Okay, now let's move on again. This time to V3. Okay. As usual, we look at the first time step here. So it is from 0 and it changes from to 2 at time t is equal to 2. So the first thing that we need to write is ut, but shifted, shifted right, so I will have t minus 2. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. Because this is 2, right? So that is not a big deal. Just, just write it 2 here. Okay, so let's continue. So ut minus 2 here. And because the value is 2, we need to multiply this by 2. Okay? Now, the value changed from 2 to 4. So we need to add more 2 into it. But it's changed when t is equal to 4. So I will have u t minus 4. Okay, and then now let's subtract it because the value changed from 4 to 0. So we need to subtract 4 into it. But that change at t is equal to 6. So I will have t minus 6. And this is for question C. Okay, lastly, let's go on into question D. Question D. 
okay it start from zero and it's changed into minus one when t is equal to one so the first thing that we need to write is what minus u t minus one right and then if we if we ignore it we we will get a horizontal line here but we want the slope here to be minus one right so we subtract the ram function to change the slope from zero to minus one so i will have minus the ram function t minus one here but then the slope change again but this time from minus one to zero here right to zero so i will have plus r t minus two but then if we leave it like that this will be a uh, ghost there so we need to add some ut here but the value is from minus two to two so we need to add two to u t minus two yeah okay i think that's all for this problem so we answer uh, all the question a b c and d okay i think that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye i just leave it like this until eight minutes for adsense purpose thank you